There can't be many houses that are not connected to an electricity supply, and these are certainly no exception. Energy for every purpose, from computers to cooking, toasters to tumble dryers. Every day there seems to be a new use for electricity. And of course, this doesn't only apply to the home, but also to every other kind of activity. Leisure, health, industry, and so on. All of this brings a changing pattern of loads and demands, and so any distribution system needs to be carefully planned. In urban areas such as this, for instance, the load density may be in the region of 2 megawatts per square kilometre, while in a rural area, this could be perhaps as low as a tiny 30 kilowatts per square kilometre. But in city centres, for every square kilometre, this could lead to a massive 45 megawatts, and that's a lot of energy. Large towns and built-up areas are usually supplied from the national grid by means of out-of-town switching stations, which generally reduce the voltage from 400 kV to either 275 or 132 kV for transmission either by underground cable or overhead line to intermediate substations sited nearer to the load centres, where the voltage is further reduced to 33 or 11 kV. Overhead lines operating at a range of voltages are widely used for both the grid system and local distribution networks and generally utilise bare conductors, either mounted on or suspended from insulators. And so care is taken over the siting and height of towers and poles, as well as to the possible sag of the conductors and of course to methods of limiting access to them.